While observing fruit flies, Morgan discovered a male that had white eyes instead of the typical red ones. He mated the white-eyed male with a homozygous red-eyed female. The entire F1 generation, whether male or female, had the dominant red eyes, just as Mendel would have predicted. However, the F2 generation held a surprise. Just as Mendel would have predicted, three quarters of the offspring had red eyes and one quarter had white eyes. But there was a catch. Only males had white eyes. One half of the males had red eyes and the other half white eyes. If sex and eye color were being inherited independently of one another, as Mendel would have predicted, then one half the white-eyed individuals should be female. Obviously, eye color was somehow linked to sex. In order to explain his results, Morgan hypothesized that while there is a gene for eye color located on the X chromosome, there is no corresponding gene on the Y chromosome. Thus, females, which receive two X chromosomes, also receive two genes for eye color, while males, which receive one X and one Y chromosome, receive only one gene for eye color. Looking at Punnett squares based on Morgan's hypothesis helps explain the results of his experiment. Morgan started with a white-eyed male that produced only two types of sperm. Sperm containing the X chromosome and along with it the alleles for white eyes and Y chromosome sperm that contained no alleles for eye color. The female fruit fly, being homozygous for red eyes, produced only eggs carrying the alleles for red eyes. In the F1 generation, the female offspring are created when the X chromosome white eyes sperm unite with the X chromosome red eye eggs. Because all the females inherit one white eye gene and one red eye gene, they are all heterozygous for eye color. The F1 generation males are created when Y chromosome no eye color gene sperm unite with X chromosome red eye eggs. Thus, all males have red eyes as a result of the single eye color gene they receive via the X chromosome of their female parent. Crossing the males and females of the F1 generation produces an F2 generation in which one half of the females are homozygous for red eyes, inheriting one red eye gene from their mother's X chromosome and the other from their father's X chromosome. And one half are heterozygous, inheriting the white eye gene from their mother and the red eye gene from their father. One half of the males are red-eyed, inheriting a red-eyed gene from the mother's X chromosome and no eye color gene from their father's Y chromosome. The other one half are white-eyed, inheriting the white-eyed gene from their mother's X chromosome and no eye color gene from their father's Y chromosome. The outcome of Morgan's Punnett square is consistent with the actual breeding outcomes. The Morgan hypothesis isn't just about predicting eye color in fruit flies. It is also relevant in explaining the inheritance of a number of genetic diseases in humans. Genes that are located on one sex chromosome but not the other are referred to as sex-linked. Nearly all sex-linked genes are found on the X chromosome and are often referred to as X-linked genes. Humans carry genes related to color blindness, hemophilia, and muscular dystrophy exclusively on the X chromosome. The fact that males have only one copy of the genes for these traits puts them at a much greater risk for these illnesses than females, as they have no chance of inheriting a second good gene that will mask the expression of a bad gene they may inherit.